Hello Raider Nation, this is Don Tov, and today you can see I got my two gnomes here. So if you watched my videos, you saw this guy before. This is sent to me from Dana from Inky Cell Tattoos. So she made this for me. I got it last season. He's a cool looking guy. I named him Howie Longbeard. So you can see he's like, he's big. He's, he's made you know, permanent like. And then Dana just sent this one to me a couple weeks ago. So this guy, he is actually a bottle topper. So really cool. So you can see how it's got all the raiders on it. And I, she has an Etsy website and she actually makes, you know, all different kinds, but she is a Raiders fan, her and her husband, and so she makes these Raiders ones. So I'd like to give a shout out. Thank you very much for these. They're, they're really cool. So if you want one, look her up in the description. I'll have a link to her page. So check her out. She's a in Raider Nation. She loves the Raiders. So thank you, Dana and Donald. It's greatly appreciated. I love these little guys. So check her page out, please. Hello Raider Nation, this is Dunto. Today I'm at the Raiders Allegiant Stadium. It is Monday, September 20th, 2021. So I hope all of you Raider Nation are enjoying that big win we had yesterday against the Steelers. Team is looking really good. It's nice when we got that defense all working and then Carr making all those passes to all them different receivers and you know everything's just looking good. So 2-0. Kansas City lost. That's a big plus right there. So good day yesterday. I don't know if you could tell with my voice. I'm still messed up from last Monday night's game. So it's like a lot of screaming Monday inside, so the voice is still giving me trouble. But getting got to get back in shape for this Sunday coming up. You know, we'll be back home against uh, the Dolphins. So it should be a good time. All right, but this week here at the stadium, so well, Saturday... I went to the UNLV Iowa State game here. If you want to call it a game, I don't remember what the final score was. I left even before it was done. UNLV ended up getting three. It was, a, it was, we got blown out, which was expected. But I thought UNLV would do a little better than they uh, did. And I would say 75% of the people here were Iowa State fans. So that was the big draw, I guess, you know, getting all the out-of-towners to come for further games. But they want to keep getting good teams in there. They got to start getting better themselves. Hopefully they can start recruiting better players. Because right now, it wasn't too good. <laughs> all right, this Wednesday, they're going to have a... I think it's like the League Cup, some kind of soccer tournament. That's going to be here Wednesday at some finals. I think it's called the League Cup Finals. That'll be Wednesday, I think at 7 p.m. So if you look around the parking lot, you can see they left all the porta potties out and they got some of this fencing up. For the UNLV game, they had a bunch of big tents set up and they had food and drinks out here so there was actually a lot of, you know a lot of stuff going on so for that game there was you know Saturday's UNLV game and this lot C 
if you wanted to buy parking it was a hundred and fifty dollars to buy parking in lot C so I did not buy that parking I found parking it was a on Las Vegas Boulevard across from the Luxor it was ten dollars to park in that lot and the walk was easy I mean let me spin around here so Hacienda was already closed you know it was only to pedestrian traffic so we parked on Las Vegas Boulevard across from the Luxor and then walked over and we stopped and checked out the they have the stadium walk tailgating area it was pretty busy there were a lot of people in there you know they sell food and drinks and they have the big screens so they do that for UNLV games and Raider games so if you're in town and want somewhere to tailgate beforehand and you don't have a tailgating spot that stadium walk was pretty busy so you can try check that out all right so I came today I want to check out if they're working on the the media mesh so far from here I don't see any of the lifts up so we'll head over that way and see if they're doing anything if you follow me on Instagram I when I came for UNLV I went over there and just Put a little video quick video of it and they got a lot of the trim work up it looked like they decided to do a lot you know mainly just the left side where you know it's uh, what you call steps down so we'll have to see all right so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this but I see like a reflection through the window or I can see the Raiders show and it looks like it's a stadium tour. I don't know if you can see that through that glass. So if you haven't been on a stadium tour yet, I highly recommend it. They're, you know, when they first came out, they would sell out real quick, but I think they're available now. They release them usually five weeks in advance. So just go to the AllegianceStadium.com and look up stadium tours. I would recommend it. I've been on three of them. And every time I went, you know, it was just as, the last was just as good as the first. So if you're in town looking for something to do, check that out. All right, let me work my way down. We'll go check out that screen. All right, I'm still on Hacienda. I just wanted to show over here on Hacienda and Allegiant Stadium Way. That's in lot B, you got this tent. So after I posted about the first game, I had a lot of people asking me about getting into the stadium. So to get into the stadium, you either have to be fully vaccinated or have at least one vaccination. So if you aren't fully vaccinated or you don't can't download the Clear app, you have to go into this tent. So you could I don't know how well you could see on the top, on top of the roof it says alternate screening here. So you got to go in there and show them your vaccination card, what you've had done, and and your ID, and they will give you a wristband that you have to keep on until game time. So. I know for the Monday night game, you were able to come out here, I think it was even Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, where you could get screened beforehand so you didn't have to do it on game day. So if you're coming out for the Dolphins game, you know, people are asking if they could just come in and show their vaccination card to get through the gate. And that is a no. You have to have the wristband or show your ver your stuff on the Clear app. So just be prepared when you come here. I did have friends that came for tailgating on that Monday. And they walked right in and got their wristband. You know, so I don't know how busy it'll be on, you know, closer it is to game time. But 
if you're in town early come out the day before and get yourself screened at one of those places you know I, some people are kind of asking if they could kind of sneak in without it and I don't think so they checked my you know they checked my clear app and check the wristband so just so you're warned if you're not vaccinated and trying to get in you're probably not going to get in I'm now in the Ford North Entry lot. So I want to spin around here. This this was here when I was here for the UNLV game. This is just something new in this area. Not sure what it is for. You can see these wood looking things. Don't know what they're for. Anyone out there that does, <laughs> let me know. Good can see it has like little holes here so like something else is supposed to go in there but whatever they are I have no idea let us know in the comments if you do know okay so while I was at the UNLV game um, they had the first level the 100 level 200 level and then they had some of only one side of the 300 level where people could sit so i guess as they get better or have you know bigger teams they're playing then they'll open up the other levels as it you know supply and demand Okay, here's the Ticketmaster booth on the, this would be the northeast side of the stadium. So you can see here in the windows, you got the QR codes to get the event tickets. 
the tour tickets and then UNLV tickets. So over here, I'm not even sure what the hours are that they're open. It doesn't say. But they want you to do most of the stuff online. They do have a lot of windows though. So if you're looking, lot C is this way down there. That's the north entry where the, you can see the flags and then you could park in lot C if you need to come over here for anything. All right, so if we look down the east side here, we can see some of the media mesh. There is no one working on it right now. You can see the finished panels over there where there's just missing a few spots. So you can see how they just rest them on top of this bracket. missing one down there a couple so and then I keep getting asked if they're using the screen last Sunday's I mean last Monday's game and then the UNLV game I haven't seen the screen on any of those days so I guess they're still waiting to get all this trim work done then we'll see what they're gonna do with the screen all right so you can see right there on the sign the Allegiant Airlines so if you follow me on Instagram I posted a few pictures of their uh, Raider Nation painted airplane. I haven't seen it live yet. I'm not sure if anyone has ever got to fly on it yet, but I'm waiting to see it. It'd be a cool shot to see it flying over the stadium, get it while it's flying. But I have not seen it live yet, but I'm sure we will. All right, so if we look in here, my son noticed these when we were here for UNLV. This is, on this side here, this is the Caesars Rewards VIP entrance. So I guess they're just advertising some of their companies here. If you look inside, they got these mini signs. So we got the Horseshoe, Harris, Paris, Caesars. And then Caesar Sportsbook. So this is, uh, I'm pretty sure they're all, you know, owned by Caesar's Hospitality. I guess they're just getting some free advertising when you go in that way. Okay, so on this you could get a good uh, view of all the panels. So right now, if you look at them, how it's a little bit wavy, I get a lot of people complaining that it looks cheap. I mean, yeah, it has the wave, but I think it looks much better, you know, finished up. And then I think it's just gonna blend in eventually. We just noticed it because I've been showing this for so long and but I think it looks pretty good. It matches the panels up above it pretty well. And once they got the screen on, then we really won't notice much, I think. Okay, so we got, of course, no one's working on it right now, but they did deliver this lift into the parking lot, and I could see a guy right now, he just got on it, so. If I could find it, there it is. So we can see he's just starting to move it now. I'm assuming he's going to drive it into this area. 
trying to remember how they get it in there. I think they get it in. They got to come all the way down where I'm at. And they bring it in through one of these gates, I thought. One of these gates over here will open up. And they could remove some of those, the bollards over here, the poles. So we'll stick around and see which way they go in there. Okay, here's the straight on shot. So again, you can see nobody's here working on it. I'm gonna pan around here. The guy that's on that lift, he's actually driving the other direction. I don't know if he's just practicing driving or what he's doing. He's way down this way. I can find him again. There he is back there. So I'm not sure what they're doing with that. Unless he's just parking it since there's the soccer in uh, two days from now. Maybe they're not going to work on it. I don't know. But let's look on this left side here. You can see all this diagonal area. They don't have any of the trim work yet. That's pretty much all they got left is this side and then a the few pieces, so. So it looks good. I mean, if you look at that, that's freshly painted. And if you look at the panel right below it, you know, they're pretty dusty, dirty. They get everything cleaned up and the sun will bake some of that new paint on that other on the new panels I think it'll blend in pretty good so there we are nothing going on today so good that's all I got Raider Nation so if you are not subscribed to my channel and you want to see updates on the stadium and what's going on around here with the Raiders please subscribe to my channel Raiders 1967 then you can follow me on Instagram at Duntov67 on there I usually just have pictures or little video clips of stadium or Raiders stuff so check me out alright Raider Nation thanks for watching and I'll talk with you next time.